Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In this one we're continuing it on with this side area in uh, Jotunheim, I think it's called. And this, this big fest, this big settlement festival type thing is run out of beer, or run out of mead it's called. And uh, yeah, we're going to go find some more mead. And that's where we're up to now in the storyline. So it looks like, according to the map, that the mead's over there in the corner. So I guess we'll head over there in that direction and see if we eventually get to it. There was another chick that was going to show us where it is, but I don't think we have to go directly behind her or anything. I don't think we have to follow her. I think we just can go to this quest point ourselves. I don't think that's too much of a problem. I actually think it's right here, behind this door. Here we go. Finally, the bolt is open. The mead awaits within. Oh, I get it. This magical mead that he wants. It's the same mead that that bloke wants to fill it up with. Okay. Javi? I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? I guess this heart means like it might be like a romance thing. I don't really want to have her as a, as a partner, but I don't really want to say out of my way. I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, sort of missed his head there a little bit, but that's all right. Alright, now that she's sorted, we can look for this mead in peace. It's not very obvious which way we're going to head, though. Oh, I think that's where we came in, right? Yeah, that's where we came in. Oh, here we go. This looks promising. The mead. By this strange magic, might the Aesir evade our doom. Yurikin has promised answers at the well of Mimir. Okay, where is this well located? Over that way. Alright, can we fast travel? No, we can't yet. We probably have to get out of here first. Harvey! There! See? The robber caught red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungor, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death. Oh, here we go. Doesn't seem like he has any weak points on him though, unfortunately. I guess we're just gonna have to keep after shooting his head. Okay, 
Okay, so the areas around the flames, that's where you're like safe from the ice, I think. Oh, there we go, he's got a weak point on his knee. There's one more, okay. Where's the other weak point? Oh, there we go. We still have arrows? Yeah, we do. Really happy that this skill doesn't use up any arrows. Otherwise, we'd be pretty screwed. Oh, I can put these things back alive. I can light these things back up again. I didn't realize that. Maybe. Be thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vaniad. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Hidekin said to find her at Mimi as well. I will deal with this venomous trickster another day. Ha, ah, okay. We got two more points after that. So we'll invest in those, and then we should be able to fast travel to our sink point down the bottom. So what were we headed to? We're headed to a bit of assassination damage, I think, over this way. Here we go. Ranged. Bearded axe, that's good, because we're using bearded axes. Then we get this as well, this one. Alright, sweet. So we'll just fast travel for now over to the sink point, and then head north. Oh, this is where I was meant to head. It didn't look like this was the place. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutungar, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. 
Release him, Harvey. Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you. Here, and now. You are out of favors, Trickster. And you are welcome to try. Oh, here we go. Against Loki. I can't imagine this is going to be that easy. Oh, what? Let's see if you fight as well as you lie. You might be the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one. You meant to have me killed. I will never forgive that. Wow, this ability is pretty insane against Loki. Or Loki. Oh, I got none left though. I will feed your corpse to Fenrir. Curse you, Loki! We were like brothers! Oh well, that killed him, I think. Are you finished? Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go. And do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! The roots of the world tree Yggdrasil feed from the well of Nimir. I am close. Gone. To who knows what mischief. But I will not see him again soon. Ha, huh, okay, yeah. So he didn't die. So it was like a boss battle? Like the final... I mean, may, that may have even been the final boss battle for Jotunheim. Because we're so overleveled in this area, that was probably a pretty difficult fight, but we're just so strong right now that I don't think it really, really poses that much of a threat to us. So, what are we, are we looking for this well? I think that's where we're headed. Yeah, reach Mew Mew's well. Abilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain. And remember. Wise Mimir, keeper of the well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asim. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. You yourself have lost much for wisdom. Beheaded by those who did not value your learning. My Hugur is here. That is all that matters. I have learned to live incomplete, as will you. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the world tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it. 
For there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way. None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. Oh my god, did he just lose an eye? The sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the world tree will remember them. And you, what is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad. As father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband, he made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. Oh, Jotunheim arc completed. My work here is done. Now to ask God to save my people. Okay, so he's... Oh, okay, so we're going back to Asgard now. Leave Jotunheim. Okay, okay, so we probably got to drink that other potion on the table inside the Seer's hut and head back to Asgard. Or at least I assume that's where we're headed now. Because all, all that was about changing his own fate, right? And he's afraid that the fate, like his death, is going to be him going up against Loki's son, that wolf. So he's hoping now with all that out of the way, he will be able to change his fate and survive, maybe? Can we just wake up from anywhere? Or do we have to go there? Well, we can just wake up. Sweet. Yule season. Ah, a delicate blanket of snow has fallen over Ravensthorpe and the days are at their darkest. Your clan has decorated the settlement and organized traditional Yuletide festivities to keep their spirits bright. Join the feast and have a warm and mead-filled Yule. Huh, okay. Novid, the settlement looks quite festive. The Yule celebration is here! <laughs> It's midwinter, Eivor. Time to drink, fight, and compete in hopes of a bounteous harvest. Yolnir, the Yule God, smiles on us. The days will soon grow longer, my friend. It's all a glorious rebirth about to begin. And you did all this? Not exactly. On a scouting mission, Sunyva and I met a group of... Uh, uh, we call them revelers. They did most of the work. Sunniva's manning the fist fight tournament. <laughs> All in good fun. Meanwhile, I have opened my own shop. Rather than silver, we use what I call Yule tokens. I made them myself. They certainly look homemade. 
Thank you, yes. Now, before we begin our celebrations, we need to get the brewery and the cattle farm ready for the Yule Feast. And you'd like me to do that, I suppose? I would. And since I'm so fond of you, have some Yule tokens. I expect to see you at the celebrations later. Settle your mind, and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Valka. I'm learning... Oh, okay. So the Yule Fest came, and now it's going again. Bloody hell, that'd be a quick event. The Yule Fest will be over, and the Yule Shop will close. Now's the time to spend those Yule tokens, okay? Good to know. Learning much, and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a meat of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this mead, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. Ah, okay. Because we've already been to Asgard, it's already prepared and everything. So if we track this quest, hang on, we'll go into our quest and stick it on that one. Return to Asgard. Wow, suggested power level 350. Okay, we shouldn't start that yet. We'll get absolutely destroyed if we if we go into that now. Alright, we'll invest in our skill points that we just got. Uh, what were we doing? I think we're headed over this direction. Here we go, we got some assassination damage, or stealth, sorry. And health, that's good. Okay, so for the Yule Festival, I think we're not really going to pay too much attention to it now. Or at least not going to pay too much attention to it on camera anyway. Because I think it's just about playing a few party games and doing some small things like that. It's not really too important to the uh, to the main storyline. I think it's completely a completely separate thing. So we're going to go over here into our settlement hut and we're going to start up the next pledge. You are a good boy. It looks like we got a, a letter as well, so let's check that out. Looks like Hi, Eivor. Things have settled in Shiropshire. I can scarce believe all the warning and grief we went through. Should you find yourself back in the Shire, please come for a visit. Your friend, Bishop Diolaf. Okay. So it's just a friendly, a friendly letter. Let's see where we're off to now. Eivor. How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. So what do we got? We got this one. 160, 160, 160, 190, 250. Wow, there's three for 160, and we're already level 200. So we are so over-leveled for the, for the areas that we're going to be rolling through now. But that's all right. For now, we'll just uh, start with Essex, I guess. Why not? It's the, the one that's closest to all the other territories that we already have. So we'll go for this one. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester. Requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys? According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. Find and speak with Burston, okay. So let's head on, wait, where am I going? I don't think we can fast travel from this area though. I think we have to get outside first. Actually, before we do anything, let's uh, let's start this animal hunt thing up. Petra, good day. Ah, oh, you're back. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. 
Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. She gonna come? Terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. I've been meaning to do this quest for a while. We actually unlocked come it when we unlocked way. the uh, the hunting hut back there. But at the time I didn't really feel like doing it, but we could probably smash it out now. It's probably not going to be that hard to be honest. Just kill a few wolves or something. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store. Or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah. Smell that. That's a male wolf. Marking his territory. Warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Unfortunately, I don't have any arrows left. So it's going to be a little bit difficult when we see these wolves. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing. Not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods. We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. Oh, here we go. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. Alright, so like I said, we got no... We got no arrows, but I still don't think it's going to be that Careful, difficult. They're aggressive. Where are they? Oh, here. Okay. Oh, I couldn't perform my stun, at stun attack. <laughs> there we go. So is that everything? Oh, she's got one over here. Oh God! Ah, that should be all of them. Oh. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? 
I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear anything. Oh! Oh, goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Alright, sweet. With that out of the way, we can head on over to Essex and continue on with the next pledge. Another two skill points. Well, racking up the skill points now. When you do like side quests or like the main mission sort of area, you just get so many more points than, than just free roaming. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Here's ranged. What's this one? Assassin? Stealth. It's always good. Alright, sweet. So let's head on over. To Essex. Oh, here's East Anglia. So where are we going? Here. Chapter one. That's it. All right, sweet. We got the uh, got the sync point for this one as well. Oh, it's over there. I've got to be careful when jumping down from heights now, because higher spots actually kill me if I fall too far. Because that was a, a recent update that got applied. If I fall from too high now, I can't actually heal myself when I hit the ground. You just immediately die. So I gotta be a little bit more careful. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn, Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Pearson, the elderman of the Shire. Our Lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Damn beer stand. His household is as poorly run as his lands. It doesn't sound like she's, she's having too much fun, though. You would say that, Adrian. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife. You! Guards will come at one cry from me. Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. Okay, Essex Arc started. Patience is a godly virtue, Adrian. So 700 meters over that way. Let's check if we have anything a little bit closer. We have this. We could probably just run over from this point, actually. Oh, did you hear that? There's a, uh, there's a zealot around here. We should definitely try and catch up to see what level this guy's on. Because if it's not that high level, we could take this guy out. It should update though, shouldn't it? Apparently not. 250. Alright, we can give this a try. Oh, 
Oh well, okay. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought it would. dodge to actually land a hit on this guy. There we go. Alright, so far it's going okay. Okay, we're getting smashed now. I think it's going to be close, actually. Wow, that's such an invaluable skill. To be able to dodge. Oh. I mean, the slow motion. Oh no! He's healing too much. Well, that took like all of our portions away. But it's not bad though, that's like the first decent fight that we've had in a long time. So it feels good. In the kingdom of Frisia, we honor your type, Pagan. We strive as you strive to achieve the perfection of the Ancient Ones. Pagan? To be Pagan is perfect. Alright, not bad. So let's head over this way. It says it's about 300 meters away. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. Oh well, wow. okay. I'm going investigating again? Yes. They were caught off guard as they supped. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. Okay, it's probably going to be like a bear or something like that. Or like a cougar. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Bjerstam still lives. Search for Bjerstam, okay. Oh, over that Show way. What lies ahead. Oh, here we go. Pearson, 
Ready your weapon, or oh, accept your fate as a feast for bears. She's a bear. Ha! Your weapon strikes true. Ha! We'll fight to the death, worthy one. It's the blood coursing. Well fought, friend. I would not have survived this ambush without you. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I'm Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I'm Norse, a no-coin groveler. Intriguing. We Saxons hear only that Danes and Norse are ferocious barbarians, all teeth and claws, with little subtlety or wit. But ho! Are you the Norse I sent word to? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. Oh. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water. Cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping her thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, the crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Beston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beerston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. 
King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Oh, okay. We gotta be quick. Are they men or babes? If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight, yes, fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Often should one make an early meal, nor fasting come to the feast. The feast, yes. The festival. This is not for full bellies, but to bless the loaf. Does that not bring us all good fortune? And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adred does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Do they not defend your land? You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Beerston. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beerston. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But... You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. Essex seems at odds with itself. Have you called me here to fix the many problems I've already seen today? No, no, I would not inflict the infighting of my thanes upon you, Eivor. Our matters are more... delicate. And of a more personal bent, requiring a finesse and discretion that these Saxons often lack. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I'm too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Then what is stopping you? Your King Alfred? Ours was not a union of love, but necessity. Decreed by Alfred's father to strengthen ties with Frankia. Not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Frankia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. 
Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pair. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? Well, okay. What a broken marriage. <laughs> I guess we gotta help them fix everything up. Alright, we'll invest in these points now. So what are we doing? We want to... What's this? Assassination? Seeks. Okay. Well, here's assassination down here. Heavy damage. Here we go. Got some stealth here and some ranged. Alright everyone, that is where I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll return from here in the next one to see what we can do about this marriage. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, leave it a like. If you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.